Well, obviously, they've got off to a really good start, and I, I thought, you know, Connor Nolan came out in the first inning, got three outs on like seven or eight pitches. You know, we came in and uh, we lead off triple, and uh, it just kind of kept continuing from there. I thought our, our uh, offense did a great job of sticking to the plan. We knew the velocity wasn't going to be what we'd been seeing. I mean, we've been seeing 92 to 97 all weekend pretty much uh, at Vanderbilt, and this was going to be a lot different. So we, we just really talked about staying through the middle and going the other way. And, uh, you know, Ezell got it going. Martin hit the ball through the middle. I think we take a walk. You know, Fletcher, I think, kind of went through the middle. We just did a really good job, and we, we punched in five runs. And then, you know, Connor came out and, you know, probably another, I don't know, 15 pitches. Uh, we get him out. And then we put together another pretty good inning. And the inning took a while. Uh, so we just decided to uh, not send Connor back out. We were thinking maybe three and just decided two's enough. He'd sat for a long time. And, you know, we had eight to nothing lead. And, and, uh, and then we sent Treston, obviously. And he gave, uh, gave up some hits and a couple runs, but, uh, you know, did a pretty good job. But just proud of the way the guys bounced back and played tonight. We had such an emotional weekend. Uh, an emotional game on Sunday. Monday's basically our day off from baseball. Um, they have an option to lift if they want to. So you just don't know where the mind's going to be, but they, they responded really well and, uh, you know, took care of business. And, and now we can, you know, we can start focusing on Mississippi State, who we play in less than 48 hours. So uh, it's a good win. Dave, I guess what do you see as Connor's role for the weekend now? Um, he'll be available again by Saturday. I mean, it's going to be out of the pen, and uh, we just wanted to get him out there and uh, kind of get him untracked. And I, I thought he was good. He was anywhere from, I think, 88 to 91 on our our stuff, our our equipment, and then uh, had a little sink on his fastball, threw a couple of pretty good breaking balls, and uh, didn't really kind of nibble. You know, he just he, he attacked, and that was good to see pitching ahead. But that'll be his role uh, going into this weekend. Made any decisions besides Isaiah starting Thursday night. You know, who's going to start Friday? Uh, I, Isaiah Thursday, and um, we'll definitely leave Saturday, game three, TBA. Um, not sure yet, 100% on, on Friday. Uh, probably no tomorrow. Just got to check a few things. Wicklander in that mix. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, right now that's who we'd be leaning to, but I just want to double check, make sure that he's good to, good to go. Almost everybody got a hit. I guess not everybody, but almost everybody. How, how good is that? It was kind of contagious, you think? It was contagious, and I think it was contagious on Sunday. You know, uh, the guys didn't want to let each other down. They kept fighting, and I mean, we had 22 hits on on Sunday, and and uh, another 15 or 16 today, and uh, you know, it's that's that's. It's hard to do, and uh, I think the the offense is is clicking a little bit now, and you know it's going to need to uh, with the team that's rolling in here on Thursday. They're they're awful offensive. If you look at their numbers, it's the best in the SEC by 15, 20, 25. You know, batting average points. So um, you know we have our hands full. You know, Good Hardy's batting 404 now. Um, pretty good to do that at this stage of the season. Just, what have you thought about? What, what, he, what he's done this season? Just uh, continue to get better. Really the last month when he, you know, realized that he needed to see a little bit better. And then once he got it back, he, the more at-bats he gets is just he's been patient. He's fouled off a lot of pitches and works, you know, works to get one he can handle a little bit. And uh, just doing a good job, going the other way, up the middle, get a pitch in. He's pulled him. I mean, uh, just showing a, a mature hitter, doing a great job. He's taking a lot of walks. I think he's on base yep. for saying he must be over 500 now. What, what have you thought about his walk? Yeah, I mean, that's one reason that I wanted to move him up in the order. I uh, almost put him at the two hole, but I moved him to the three hole on Sunday, um, moved Martin up to the two hole. And, uh, you know, it just seems like it's clicking a little bit. But I, I love the way he, he's patient and he'll take a walk and – um, you know, like I said, the on-base percentage is, is, is through the roof right now, and it's because he's been patient, and and it also leads to walks, but it also leads to him getting better pitches to hit. How good a pickup has he been? Did you recruit him out of high school, or kind of how that? Well, he, we didn't recruit him hard, and he kind of 
in our opinion, he just kept getting better. He had a good summer with the American Legion team after his junior year. As a matter of fact, they might, that might have been the summer that they won the American Legion championship uh, out in uh, North Carolina. Uh, he was one of the top players on that team and, you know, knew about him, just, you know, I guess you could say just kind of following him. And, and I've known his dad for a long time. His dad used to be the head coach at Southern Arkansas University. I don't know if you knew that for a long time, Steve Goodhart. And when I was at Texarkana, we used to play him all the time, scrimmage him in the all fall. And uh, so, you know, talk to Steve uh, a little bit about his son and, uh, you know, kind of the way coaches are. Maybe they're, he wasn't sure if he was ready yet for us. And, uh, you know, we had him up here in the summer before he, he left to go to San Jack. So after his senior year, we had him in a camp and just felt like, with all that we had coming back last year, that it might be better for him to just go to San Jack for a year and let us watch you. And, you know, we had a veteran team last year. It would have been hard to get in the lineup as a true freshman. And uh, so uh, Coach Johnson and I went down there on the way to LSU trip. We went down there and watched him play on a Thursday and then and then left from there and went to Baton Rouge to practice. And we told him that night we wanted him to come to Arkansas next year as a sophomore. So that's kind of how it all went down. Well, I mean, I can't expect anybody at 400. Uh, I guess I'd have to say yes, he's a better hitter than I, than maybe. I mean, I didn't expect these numbers. You never know. I, I thought he could hit, though. I mean, I mean, I don't want to tell you I didn't think he could do what he's doing because he's doing it. And you know, we saw him. He did it in high school. He did it at San Jack. He hit the two hole, three hole, lead off, one of the top teams in the country at that level. So I think he's just starting to, you know, see the pitching and he's handling it. Any update on Costi Shark for this weekend? Yeah, he should be good to go this weekend. We're excited about getting him back, and uh, he's been going full, full go in his bullpens. And uh, yeah, he uh, he'll he'll be he'll be ready to pitch. Kind of where does that fit then? Does he come in before Cops, or you all just kind of? Yeah, I mean, uh, Cops are extremely well this past weekend. Uh, I have a lot of confidence. I think Kevin's starting to get it going, and uh, we needed it. And. Uh, you know, we so it's it's good to get Costi back. I don't know how we'll work it, but it's not like we're just going to throw him in here and there. We'll we'll put him in in the middle of the fire. You know, he'll have to go in and you know maybe lock it down or keep it where it is or whatever the case may be. Being a freshman, how have you seen Connor kind of handle these struggles he's had going from week in to midweek now? Well, you, you know, you think about the freshmen; they've really never failed. You know, eleven and zero in high school and team won state championship and. You know, other freshmen have the same story. They haven't failed at the plate. They haven't failed in the field. Uh, so I think he's handled it really well. You know, he 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 he's handled it. He's gotten taken out of games early. He doesn't complain. He just works. And you know, he realizes how tough this league is, and it's it's unforgiving. Um, but he bounced back today, and I, I'm sure the next time he gets the ball, I think he'll do well and continue to climb back up and be a big part of our pitching staff like he is. Like every week, I see series you're playing somebody, somebody ranked the state's number two. Just yeah. What's what, what's real impressive about them? Why are they ranked so high? Well, they're ranked so high because number one, they're just extremely good. Uh, they they do everything well. They pitch well. You know, they got a junior lefty that'll go Thursday. That's going to be a good draft and pitched in Omaha last year and got really good stuff and uh, a couple of really good right-handers. After that, their lineup is good one through nine. They've got Magnum at the top of the order that's probably going to set the all-time SEC hit record if he hadn't done it yet. I mean, he's had two four for four and five for five games this year. Switch hitter, he's an incredible hitter. And he, he turned down the money and came back for his senior year and he sets the table and drives runs in the second and third, fourth time up. So. They're just good. They have power. I mean, if you just look at their numbers, they're hitting, what, 320 as a team, somewhere in there, uh, hitting in the SEC play. And, uh, you know, they, they're, they're, just, they're just really good. They're, they're physical. What would you think when he turned that money down and came back? Seems like he's been there forever. Yeah, I, was, uh, I wasn't real happy. Uh, I knew that we had to get him out again for at least three more games. And, uh, but uh, I respect his decision. And, they didn't want to pay him enough money. He said, I'm going to go back and probably have my degree. I'm still going to play pro ball, and, you know, I'll earn my way to the big leagues if I'm good enough. And, uh, you know, I know they're loving it. And I remember Shaddy got some new glasses, I think, maybe his junior year. He had some different contacts. Have you ever yeah. heard anybody uh, do what, what Goodhart's done in terms of getting his eyes Well, I think he could hit anyway. I think he just – 
you know, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know all the details. I think that he just need to get some things straightened out, and obviously maybe increase those lenses just a little bit. But yeah, I mean, the key to hitting is seeing the ball, seeing the spin, and if you can't see it at 2020 vision, you're you're already a little bit behind. So, especially at night, you've got to be able to see. So, he's hit during the day. He's hit at night, and uh, we're glad he's here. Okay.